know going back to your, you know, really one of your foundation pieces of your philosophy with your staff, you know, about players, don't tell me what they can't do. Tell me what they can do. Absolutely. I'm just curious, <clears throat> the evolution of that, how much of it is trial and error? How far do you go before you kind of pull a pin on a guy and say, you know what, maybe you can't do what we're asking to do. Uh, and I mean that across the board. I'm just curious from your you know, philosophy, how do you balance that uh, challenge? Yeah, I think there is a fine balance Art, between developing somebody into a certain role and seeing how they fit within a scheme and then determining where we put them in a position to play that doesn't fit them. I think we're still early right now in what we're doing. Obviously, the first game the other day, we're not ready to pull anybody out of anything we're doing at this point. That being said, it's about favorable matchups for these guys, putting them in a position to be successful. We're always trying to do that to give ourselves any kind of advantage we can. You know, there's, there's always something you identify with a certain guy. Let's not ask him to do this. But I think we're early in the system right now, still are, to turn around and, and just say about any one of our players, let's eliminate his opportunity to do X, Y, Z. Thanks. Dougie? Hey, Joe, uh, you know, the Giants and the Bears played not too long ago, but I'm curious, how much do you gain from, you know, did you look back at that matchup? I'm sure you did. Just how useful is that for, for this game? I think the biggest thing that helps you from watching last year's matchup is some of the similar uh, players we have on the roster and some of the ways that they really look to isolate and attack guys who are still on the roster. Schematically, there's some differences, obviously. You try to look a lot in terms of the coordinators, Dan, in terms of the experience you've had against them whether it's going back to the Miami days with Laser, whether it's going back to watching some of you know Pat's experience in Green Bay against the Bears, or maybe some of the old New England games to look at some of our defenses, how they've attacked it, how they've used it. And then offensively, you know, how they attacked, you know, both our personnel and then also maybe when Jason was at Dallas. So you look at everything you can to gather as much knowledge and then try to form, you know, how you think they're gonna attack you and have a plan that fits that. Hey Sean. Tom Rock. Joe, it's probably been a little overlooked on the outside just because it's usually such a common occurrence, but you, you got to take the team on the road this week for the first time uh, with the new protocols, with the new systems. How, how, what are the challenges there? You know what, I'm going to be honest with you, I, I don't have a lot of concerns about the actual logistics of our team traveling. It's a little bit more just in terms of you know fitting the schedule to make sure with the testing, the boarding, the buses, getting the plane, that, that's really the kind of the small things that factor in. In terms of the actual schedule, getting to the hotel, meeting, waking up, playing the game, I love these early games. I like waking up on the road, just getting up and going to play, you know, getting out there and going to see the opponent. So yeah, I think we're going to be fine on that. Obviously, in preseason, you gain a little bit of experience for the players to go through. The one thing I think does play into what we're doing is last week, being a Monday night game and being a night game for us, we had to stay in the hotel due to protocols the entire day on Monday. That actually simulated a little bit of a road trip feel for us because once we came here for meetings, that kind of simulated the travel part of it. We're in the hotel all night together doing meetings and hanging out. And then the next day we're there together doing walkthroughs. So, you know, really the home game last week kind of prepped us a little bit for the away week because of the new rules. I'm sure you're, you're in touch with a lot of coaches throughout the league. Um, what, what were some of their experiences on the road when, when, you, when you guys sort of compared notes? Uh, is, is that what you found, that it was, it was pretty much the same? You know what, I didn't, I didn't hear anything that was really too unusual for them. A lot of it came more into just the logistics on traveling on buses to the airport, making sure the players are spaced out. Uh, some of the airplane seating, some of the coaches mentioned, you know, how they're you know, spacing their players out a little bit differently than in the past. We've discussed a lot of options. We're going to finalize that tonight as a staff in terms of things we think we may have to do. Um, the actual trip with the football part of it isn't what you're kind of dealing with anything different. I think our guys are used to just traveling for football games, whether it be college or, you know, previous years in the NFL, Tom. Right now, it's really the kind of early part of the trip, busing, planes, how you get your food on the plane, little things like that that people don't always calculate that, you know, we feed these guys on the plane, we're always hydrated on the plane. One of the factors I'm gonna have to talk to the team about is, hey, listen, we're obviously wearing masks on the plane. Anytime you have a mask on, it slows down your hydration. Also, when you're in the plane, you know, you naturally dehydrate from the air pressure and the way it affects the cells and, and the moisture in your cells. So we've gotta make sure we do a really good job traveling with hydrating on the plane even though we have masks on. So we've got to be conscious of that. Thanks, Joe. No we, got, we got time for two quick ones, Jordan and Zach. Jordan? Hey, Joe. I was just wondering, uh, we saw Logan Ryan a decent amount on uh, Monday night. I mean, now that he's got another week to sort of digest the playbook, how much more can, can we see him, and, and do you expect to sort of expand his role now moving forward? 
Yeah, we're not going to limit Logan on anything we're doing. You know, as Pat puts the packages together and we see the matchups, you know, whatever we can do to get all of our players involved, we're going to do. Um, but I don't think there's anything that we would hold off on using Logan for. We just want to make sure that whatever package we're putting together, we spaced out to use all of our players and put ourselves in favorable matchups. Appreciate it. Last one here is Zach. Hey, Joe. You guys obviously had a, a tough group to block uh, last week in terms of pass rushers, and this week you have Khalil Mack, obviously, that you have to deal with. I'm curious like, how, how confident you are in your guys' ability to get after a guy like that, and what kind of challenges in particular does he present? Well, I'll tell you what, I'm confident every player we have on our roster, number one. Number two, every week we play, you look at our roster, we're going to have elite pass rushers and an elite front you know, defensive tackles on every team we play. So that's just the nature of you know, our schedule, nature of the NFL. However, specific to Khalil Mack and Quinn on the other edge as well, these are two of the top guys in the game. They're both explosive, they're dynamic, they play with high motors, they do a good job making hustle plays, they put pressure on the quarterbacks, whether it's through strip sacks, you know, flushing out of the pocket, whatever it may be. They're guys you've got to come in. You can't blink. You can't fall asleep. You know, they got high motors are coming on every play. So if you let down your guard for one second, that's going to be a bad play for your offense. So obviously we have a tremendous challenge in front of us. Uh, we will every week. But this week specific to the Bears and their edge pressure, you know, we've got to really rise to the challenge.